All right, here we are with another episode of Cooking My Way Through Half a Cow. So this week I'm using the mince. Now I'm actually gonna use it twice today. I'm gonna to make myself a burger for lunch and I'm gonna use the remainder for spaghetti bog tonight for dinner. So we'll get started, I'll mix it up, add some onion in there and then I'll separate out just enough for a burger. The rest can go in that container for later on for spaghetti bolognese. All right, I'm gonna wang some tiger gloves on. I don't have a sink out here on the deck, so rather than have to go inside back and forth to washing my hands in between, I'm just gonna put these tiger gloves on while I prep everything up. That way I'm making sure I'm not gonna get crook. Commonly when making a burger, a lot of people will use an actual burger bun, but there's something about that sourdough that when you cut it, cook it on the barbecue with olive oil, it absolutely hits the spot. If you haven't tried it before, I recommend getting some sourdough, cut it fairly thick, and just instead of buttering it, put some olive oil on there and then do it on your grill. It'll be absolutely life-changing for you. Now, no burger is complete without onion rings, and I understand that I am putting diced onion into the meat itself, but at the end of the day, putting an onion ring on top of your burger, well, if you're not doing that, you're not living. Okay, so the mince is all mixed up. I got the onion, pepper, and salt in there, nice and simple. Pulled out a little bit for a burger. The rest is put aside for some spag bowl later on. Okay, so I got me burger cooking and then the bacon and that onion went on there and now I'm just getting some olive oil on this bread before I throw it on the barbecue to toast it. If you're having a few beers while you're doing this, don't forget about the onion and the bacon. That stuff will burn to a cinder before you even know it if you take your eye off it. Now I'm just going to throw my cheese on top of that burger just before I start to plate up. And just to add a little bit of extra flavoring, I'm gonna sprinkle some magic dust from Lane's Barbecue on there. That stuff is amazing. Then it's just a matter of taking your toast off and whacking some butter on there. Obviously, you don't have to add that butter on. I did have some olive oil, but butter just makes everything taste even better. Now when it comes to constructing my burger, you obviously know I'm gonna put onion and bacon, but I got some sweet chili aioli, some pineapple, some beetroot, as well as a little bit of rocket and some lettuce. That stuff goes absolutely amazing together and it's nice and fresh and adds a nice crunch. But don't get me wrong, if you're doing this at home, take something off, put something on, make it to however you like. A lot of people love an egg on there and a lot of people won't want diced bacon, but as I said earlier, it's what I had in the fridge and I was just making use of it. It's the same thing with pineapple. So many people don't like pineapple on pizza and it's exactly the same for burgers. It's not for everyone, but make it to how you like it. And let's be honest, this thing looks absolutely incredible. And I can tell you right now, it tasted even better than it looked. Nice and thick, super juicy. And for the crunch, well, you can listen to that yourself. At the end of the day, when all said and done, this grass-fed beef mince is incredible, and it is the next best thing to actually slaughtering on the farm. But if you don't have a farm, and you live in the city, and you wanna be able to experience that same traceability, that same quality, then head on over to the Farm to Fridge platform and place your order for a 1-8 box, or even a side of beef today.